Wheeler. And she has the ball. Gets it off to Dupree. In the paint, gets it to McCowan, and she lays it up and in at the buzzer. Oh, and it counts, but they're going to take a look at it here. It off. Plenty of time. Wow, what a play. What an opening night game oh, for my. McCowan. What, what a, a way to end it. And what a heartbreaker for New York. An absolute heartbreaker. As that was a tough one to lose. And it's there by Tiffany Mitchell. She. You could tell she took a quick glance up, saw there was only three seconds to go as the Fever coming back down the floor again. Wheeler gets the steal, Wheeler gets the lay-in, and just like that, the Fever's lead is 17. Clark going at the Fever rookie. That is Russell going at the Fever rookie. McCowan stuffed it, and McCowan got it again. So two blocks right there for Tierra McCowan. Did not have the size down there in the post. Rebounding as well, Russell springs free, and on a third try, Mercedes Russell, she's got nine. That kind of position, she's extremely difficult to stop. College opponents found that out plenty of times. In her Mississippi State days, and there's McCowan again with the monstrous stuff on Howard. Three blocks in three minutes. She's on offense, and a shot goes up. You cannot get caught ball watching. You have to clear her out, and it's way easier said than done. Oh, and she swats that into orbit. And Sykes tried to scale the 6-7 McCowan. You appreciate the attack mentality. And to have the longevity in her career to be in her 14th season. That's also a good parallel to Tim Duncan. A block by McCowan as Breland tried to swoop in. In terms of rotation, great pump fake, great lane. He has nine points. Four for four. And on the runouts, this is a fever team running right to that three. Well, good looks for the Mitchells on that possession. Indiana couldn't make them pay. Sims maybe got away with an extra step inside. Indiana had the defense there nonetheless. Laney, the pull up two. Off the back of the rim, McCowan, the put back, McCowan, and add one. 17 here in the second half. And she helped close the door for the Lynx tonight. Kelsey Mitchell, one last shot. That won't go. McCowan's put back will count. The Minnesota Lynx watch a 22-point leave completely evaporate. That was a tough cut, too. They knew she'd end up with somebody. McCowan comes up with a rejection. That's her 25th block of the season. Well, I think before it's all said and done. Especially when you face the Cambages of the world and players we just talked about inside this time McCowan gets the contact the foul and the basket that step in her development of not allowing players to get such deep positioning against her team as well we got a little <laughs> D-Wade pink shirt and didn't miss any action quality work by our camera crew. Diamond gets it blocked McCowan got her goes into McCowan she draws the double finds Burke <laughs> Kelsey Mitchell for Indiana's taking just two shots. Right back to McCowan. She's been the centerpiece and the lefty finish. McCowan, the rookie, has made her mark as well. Coming on the shot clock, far side with it. Dumping it down low. And a good feed to Candace Debris, and she doesn't miss this one. A nice off the ball pass there. Back and in. Double shows. And Debris misses the one handed rebound and tip, but the question is what was she doing with the off arm? Right now, career high in both points and boards. I don't know about that off arm. There was a lot of pushing on Mercedes Russell. Pace here, that'll play in their favor as the game progresses. McCowan taking Cambays to the rim. Big T said, anything you can do, I can do better. Bride, who's played just nine minutes so far. The zone being played here by the Aces. You don't see the zone too often, but the Indiana Fever just destroyed it just then. She does shoot a pretty good clip of 37%. It just runs this team well. Great position. Look how it has it. And a foul. Six points. And you can almost is a pretty good role model oh, to have. Definitely. But I mean, uh, my daughter's just one example of the young uh, girls throughout our community who see these professional athletes performing at the very highest level.